हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू एमबीए करो एग्जैक्टली फोर मंथ्स फ्रॉम नाउ यू विल बी अपेयरिंग इन कैट एंड बाय दिस टाइम द लास्ट लॉट मस्ट बी ओवर सो यू हैव जस्ट फोर मंथ्स लेफ्ट फॉर द एग्जामिनेशन नाउ एंड इट इज हाई टाइम दैट यू गेट सीरियस uh and uh, dedicate yourself towards the exam preparation uh, i am sure that most of you are serious aspirants who started long back but now it is crucial period wherein you need to keep up the momentum for the next 4 months uh, stay motivated uh, study the right way so that you can maximize your performance in the examination so in this video i am going to talk about some do's and don'ts that you must follow for the next 4 months so that uh, you continue with the best of your preparation and end up doing well on the examination day if you are new to my channel please do subscribe to my channel for great content on mba preparation so 26 november is the date uh, the notification will be out very soon um, maybe this week itself or, or uh, the next week uh, definitely it will come out by the first week of august and uh, if we talk about uh, this uh, examination it is always conducted on the last sunday of november so it, this year it is going to be on 26th of november okay so this is the day and four months from today you will be appearing in the examination so the first thing is very important is keep the momentum till the day of the examination see you have 4 months left and uh, you need to utilize each and every day so by far let's say you started your preparation some 3 4 months back uh, you may have had some vacations in between or uh, you took a break for a couple of days or so that's fine but from now onward you need to be continuous till the day of the examination do not spare a day without your preparation even if you are a working professional ensure that you find out some time maybe during office break or uh, early in the morning late at night whenever you can <coughs> find out some time dedicate some time for preparation so there should be no day in your calendar that goes without preparing for cat so that is very very important for all the aspirants solving past year papers if you have covered your syllabus please go through past year papers that will give you uh, an idea that where do you stand right now and uh, what are the things like you can take them right now as well uh, and see there are a lot of past year papers available so you can take uh, some now maybe some next month and so on ensure that you are <coughs> uh acquainted with each and every past year paper that is available like 2017 to 22 itself if you go through uh, six years papers that are good enough uh, for your practice so even if you have not enrolled any mock test or somewhere those papers would suffice one thing which people often ignore is uh, they do not have the proper reading habit see in the examination you will have to read uh in a desktop okay the examination center where you sit you will be given a desktop so ensure that you develop a reading habit on a laptop or desktop instead of reading on mobile because that will enhance your reading speed and reading is very important like in uh, vrc it is full of reading you have four passages to read and other questions as well and apart from that dil are also if you see they have long texts so if your reading speed is high that is going to give you a benefit like for example calculation speed if your calculation speed is good uh, you solve questions fast that people work on but most people what they ignore is reading speed so build your reading speed ensure that you read on a desktop or laptop so that your reading speed is very fast this is something which very few people talk about kyunki log ko aisa ऐसे सोचते नहीं ना इस पर्सपेक्टिव से कि रीडिंग स्पीड से क्या होता है बट रीडिंग स्पीड इज वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट सो वर्क ऑन दिस एज वेल अपार्ट फ्रॉम अदर थिंग्स प्लीज सॉल्व रेलिवेंट क्वेश्चन एट टाइम्स लाइक यू विल सी सम पीपल सेंडिंग वेरी लॉन्ग क्वेश्चन और समटाइम्स इन मॉक टेस्ट यू फाइंड क्वेश्चन विच मे बी वे टू डिफिकल्ट एंड मे नॉट बी बियॉन्ड द लिमिट्स ऑफ द एग्जामिनेशन 
so ignore practicing such questions maybe at times you might solve a few of them but don't spend too much time on those questions that is why i said that go through past year papers and see what is the level of questions what is the length of questions okay how much data is given in the questions the questions that you see somewhere kabhi to wo acha lagta hai ki are bahut difficult question de diya but is it relevant for the examination decide and then solve those questions because if you are solving those questions you are simply wasting your time on them so make sure that you solve relevant questions while practicing for the examination you should read newspaper daily it will help you not only in your vrc section but it will also help you for gdpi okay so many students what they do is they ignore this thing at this point in time they think ki gdpi ki preparation baad mein kar lenge but if you are regular with reading that will help you in gdpi a lot okay remember that like once exam skate over you do not have much time for it okay so if you start early you tend to do good in that cover all sections daily do not ignore any section uh, some people uh, focus only on their strong area like make sure that you cover all the sections so that like you do not see that great difference lot of times what happens is people score good on the examination but uh, they have very poor sectional score in one of the sections the reason they might have ignored that section during practice so make sure that you give time to each and every section on a daily basis so come time there to be like let's say you are studying for an hour 20 20 minutes fine but give time to each section every day when writing mocks please analyze these mocks properly see that what kind of questions are your strong areas like which you can do uh, like your accuracy स्ट्रॉन्ग स्ट्रॉन्ग कैसे पता चलेगा एक तो एक्यूरेसी होगी और टाइम होगा अगर आपकी एक्यूरेसी जिस क्वेश्चन में ज्यादा है और टाइम कम लग रहा है सो दैट मीन्स दीज आर योर स्ट्रॉन्ग एरियाज ओके सो इन्श्योर दैट यू नो योर स्ट्रेंथ्स एंड वीकनेसेस सो दैट इन द एग्जामिनेशन यू कैन चूज कि कौन से क्वेश्चन अटैम्प्ट करना है कौन से बाद में अटैम्प्ट करना है कौन से लीव करना है सो इट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टू एनालाइज मॉक टेस्ट इवन इफ यूर स्कोर आर लो दैट इज परफेक्टली फाइन but you should be able to find out that what is happening in the tests and how are your how is your performance going on what are the topics you are comfortable with etc now it is high time that uh, you stay away from social media because that is for your own good uh, because all these things are quite addictive like social media uh, ott platforms etc uh, you do not realize that how much time you spend on them uh and instead if that time is dedicated towards preparation that would do benefit to you instead of spending some time on these platforms so ensure that uh, you uninstall the apps okay so that uh, you save your time and towards uh, utilize it towards your preparation it is very important to take care of your health so have a healthy routine eat well sleep well it's by sleep i mean that at least 7 to 8 hours a day okay and do some exercise maybe if you uh, if you do work out that's good uh, even if you do not work out heavily i'm not saying that you need to be a bodybuilder or something you can simply go for a walk do some outdoor activity like let's say if you swim you go for swimming if you play some sport you, you can play that sport etc so ensure that you are physically fit because if you fall sick then that means that you lose time on your preparation so keep yourself healthy for the next 4 months please eat proper food nutritious food avoid junk food so that you stay healthy and can uh, be productive for the next 4 months if you are preparing for cat and are looking for a weekend uh, course uh, which we started this month okay you can enroll in the course and uh, it has live classes and the recordings are also available once uh, the classes get over you can uh, you have the access to the recordings as well there are practice sheets given along with the classes there are doubts classes and uh, full length mocks also available with this course so if you wish to enroll in the course you can check the link given in the description of this video now those were the things that you had to do now let us discuss about the things that you should not be doing uh, 
first of all don't compare yourself with peers okay this is the problem that many students face now some people might have started preparation recently some people started the preparation long back okay now if you compare yourself with them you think that they are way ahead in race okay so uh, be assured that even if you have started your preparation recently you can still crack cat with a very good score okay so do not compare with yourself with others just focus on yourself work hard for the next four months you can do much better than others who had started long back as i said that consistency is very important so even if you started late but you are consistent you have the momentum uh, you are a quick learner you have grasped the concepts well and follow the right things then you are bound to do good in the examination don't ignore easy topics or questions as i told previously as well some people feel uh, a great pleasure in solving difficult questions good but please ensure that you go through easy topics and questions also because uh, what happens is uh, like if you just ignore these topics you become over confident and at times you are unable to perform on the day of the examination don't refer to too many resources uh, this creates confusion okay so agar aap jaise maan lo free mein hi classes kar rahe ho kahin se bhi to bhi aisa mat karo ki bahut sare logo ki classes dekh rahe ho because uh, like each person will have a different way of teaching and you may not adapt to each and every one okay so do not refer to too many resources like i see people collecting a lot of material yahan ka bhi material wahan ka bhi material but that never helps to be honest that does not help you have one material or maximum two material stick to it okay uh, see nothing is bad okay everything is good like koi bhi material aapke paas wo acha hi hoga just focus on learning things instead of collecting a lot of material okay so uh, that will help you perform better rather than just collecting material from everywhere and referring to too many sources as i said that mock tests should be analyzed well do not take these mock tests lightly so what i mean by it is let's say the examination was of 2 hour so sit 2 hours at one stretch you should not be sitting like ki pehle 30 minutes kar liya fir mock pause kar liya fir baad mein aaye fir fir dobara de diya or let us say uh, you are a working professional you came home back home you were tired and you took mock so take these mock tests religiously as if you are giving an actual examination you should be fresh you should have enough time aisa nahi ki beech mein kahi uth ke jana pad raha right stay uh, in a good environment calm environment jahan pe koi disturbance no वैसे सिनेरियो में मॉक देना है बट टेकिंग द टेस्ट सीरियसली बट डू नॉट टेक द मॉक स्कोर सीरियसली ठीक है टेस्ट तो बिल्कुल ढंग से दो कि दो घंटे बैठ के एक साथ देना है ठीक है और uh, जब फ्री टाइम है तभी देना है सर बट डू नॉट टेक दिस मॉक स्कोर वेरी सीरियसली सम स्टूडेंट्स की थिंकिंग मेरे मॉक में इतना स्कोर आ रहा है मॉक में इतना स्कोर आ रहा है स्टोरी ऑफ एवरी वीयर पीपल जस्ट फोकस ऑन दोज थिंग्स instead focus on the learning what did you learn from the mock learn time management learn about your strengths and weaknesses some mocks may be very difficult some mocks may be easy okay so do not take your scores very seriously that this is my score will i be able to get this in the examination it does not depend at all maybe you scored 30 marks in the mock test you can score 100 in the examination it can be the other way around also okay so do not that's just a rehearsal so do not worry about the mock scores think of uh, like what are the mistakes that you are committing what topics that you need to focus on what kind of questions you are comfortable at and you should be attending them in the examination and uh, <clears throat> if you started late or early whatever do not leave any new topic for the last one month so even if you are starting now uh, just finish it Uh, by November, October end, so that the last month should be entirely for revision and uh, test taking. Okay, so do not leave anything for the last one month. Don't wait. Ki ya last the come karte last me ham uh, isse cover karenge. It's not like that. It's it's a marathon. It's not like a college exam ki last din humne padhiya aur pass ho jayenge. So whatever you are covering, covering uh, cover them well on time. 
so if you are preparing for cat you started your preparation recently and especially uh, this is good for the ones who are working professionals or repeaters jinne pehle cat de diya tha thoda bahut concept pata hai you want to brush up you want to learn better techniques maybe you studied on your own or studied somewhere else last year uh, you did not know some proper ways of approaching problems uh, right so you can enroll in our courses and uh, Uh, it's a weekend batch classes are conducted on weekend saturday and sunday uh, three classes each and uh, like there are practice sheets provided along with the classes the classes can be accessed any time any number of times uh, in the recorded format also so even if you are unable to attend the class you can watch the recordings later and the recordings are available till <coughs> march 31st So, if you wish to enroll in this batch, you can check the link given in the description of this video. So, I hope uh, you will follow these guidelines, and for the next four months, uh, just give your best for the examination, and uh, hope you will come out with flying colors on the day of the examination. So, just four months, uh, give your best, uh, and uh, do not worry about the uh, the result and other things. just be consistent uh, study from the right resources and do not just collect material okay analyze mocks properly understand your strengths and weaknesses so that you plan strategically for the examination and eventually you can end up doing good in the examination so all the best for the exam